One of the most popular questions I get at Dash and Dish is, how do I kick the sugar cravings? And oftentimes we're so addicted to sugar in this nation because it's in almost everything, even if we try and be careful. So I'm gonna give you five simple ways to nix the sugar, cut the cravings, and kind of just get rid of it all together. So tip number one, first things first, you gotta ditch the sugar in your house. You gotta get rid of it all together. So start to look at packages, ingredient lists, and say, okay, this has high fructose corn syrup, this has sugar as the first few ingredients. And really, I would suggest anything that has over five grams of sugar, just pitch it or give it to somebody. And then replace it with a healthier form of sugar. So not all sweetness is bad. There are ones that God actually created for us to enjoy. So honey, maple syrup, I like monk fruit sweetener and stevia as well. So those are all natural ways that we can sweeten our foods without the same impact that white sugar has on our bodies. Number two, start to fill up on healthy protein and healthy fat sources. So add them to your meals, your snacks, wherever you can. What this does is protein and healthy fat helps us feel satisfied. It also prevents that high and low blood sugar crash that simple carbohydrates can form. If you're gonna eat carbohydrates, they're not all bad. I would just choose ones that are low glycemic index. So things like sweet potatoes, whole grains. Really look at the ingredient list on your food and start to pay attention to how food actually makes you feel. Whenever you fill up on good, healthy, nourishing foods, you're much less likely to go reaching for that bag of candy after a meal. Number three, get some rest. I know it sounds so simple, but it's so profound. If you can get at least seven hours of sleep a night, it is so powerful because what happens is our bodies are so smart. Whenever we're really tired and we just really need a nap, a lot of times we'll just look for sugar to kind of have a quick pick-me-up. It really is a form of drug and it's kind of like caffeine. It might give you a sugar rush or a buzz for a quick moment, but always we can expect to have that crash afterwards. So it really doesn't last. So the best thing to do is get your proper rest. If you have to shut things off an hour early and get to bed, it's always worth it in the long run. Number four, don't feel that you have to abolish or abandon all of your favorite sweet treats or desserts. In fact, that dieting mentality that you can no longer have your favorite brownie, cookie, or ice cream ever again often leads you binging and looking for more sweets. So instead, find a healthy replacement, and that's what Dash and Dish is all about. Find ways that you can satisfy your sweet tooth in a healthier way. Of course, things like fruit and natural forms of sweetness are wonderful and perfect, but sometimes you just need a little chocolate. So, start to look for healthy ways that you can replace your favorite recipes, and dashingdish.com is a great place to start. And last but not least, number five, cut down on the stress. Now, take note I didn't say get rid of it all together because we all know that's impossible to do. However, there are so many ways that we can cut back on stress. One of which is just saying yes to some things that are important to us and no to the things that aren't. As we cut back on some of the busyness and the things that place demands on us and pressure on us, it can do a huge overhaul of bringing peace and releasing some of the stress in our lives. Taking inventory of our lives and what really matters is so important because as we get stressed out and the more the cortisol levels go up, so do the sugar cravings. And not only that, can have a profound impact on our entire well-being. So these tips are just some of the ways that you can cut back on sugar. And be sure to check out Dash and Dish for more tips and answers on cutting out the sugar and getting more nutrition into your lifestyle.